I'm Brian Atkinson from KZRV, and today we're going to go over the Escape Hatch. It is an E20, which means it's got a big bed up front. I'll show you that. But what's nice about this camper is that it's only about 3,500 pounds and 23 and a half feet long. So it's easy to tow because it's lightweight and it's not so big that it's hard to, to roll down the road. We'll start at the front with a bike rack. So super nice having the bike rack up front uh, because you don't need to take any of the space in the rear of the camper because that's where the, the hatch technique comes into play. Uh, this being a hatch is a concept that was developed by KZ um, specifically for the escape line. So we're the, right now we're the only ones with this concept. You've got a full automotive class windshield its application is is automotive so you know the the chance of anything happening are very small lots of extra light so super super nice feature of course you've got storage up front you've got a nice friction hinge door so this friction hinge door is super nice on a windy day these latches always used to break friction hinge door is super nice You've got an automatic awning. So for those of you that had manual awnings, it's awesome to just one touch that thing open. Of course, you have the new steps. So heavy duty, fully extendable. I mean, for somebody that's had some knee work done like myself, it's super nice to be able to have fully extendable steps because the steps do not give it all. Very nice feature. And of course, oversized grab handle to get in. A leash latch. I mean, bring your pup with you and you can actually put the dog, you know, latch it right onto the camper there. And also has a bottle opener for obvious purposes, right? Um, this particular camper has an off-grid package. Um, the off-road package actually has bigger tires, presents more clearance. Exterior speakers, the bike rack, 1000 watt inverter, roof mounted, 100 watt. And then once you get to the back of the hatch, this is where the magic really happens because in a smaller travel trailer, the typical issue is no storage. Um, this gives you tons of easy accessible storage for something as big as a kayak. I mean, kayaks have grown exponentially. I mean, all of my neighbors have kayaks. And if you're camping, how to haul the kayak becomes an issue. This is long enough that a full-size kayak can fit in it. But the real magic of this is having a cup of coffee in the morning, sitting outside, butted up against a lake and having fresh air. Now, is there other things that this provides? Absolutely. You can see above me the entry door for the rear. It poses as a second awning, right? So whether you're tailgating and you're out here having a cold beer while somebody's inside making nachos and handing them to you, um, whether it's raining outside and you're just sitting out here out of the elements while somebody's grilling on the other side underneath the other awning, it does actually create another awning space, but more importantly, it creates fresh air for the camper. I mean, imagine laying under the stars, looking out of this, of course, with the net, so there's no mosquitoes getting in, and just enjoying the, the summer evening. Um, I mean, is that's what camping is all about, right? Fresh air, nice views. This particular model, the hatch, I'll let you like maximize that particular ability, right? Because you have lots of fresh air. So let's say you're cooking fish, bacon, guess what? Like, even though this does have a griddle, if you wanted to cook bacon inside, you could just open this back end up and out goes all the bacon smell, right? So now I'm gonna take you inside the camper. And uh, again, this is the E20 hatch. And let's talk about some of the features that are inside this.